Well, hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So, in today's video, you saw the title. I'm doing some good old salsa, and it's just a easy roasted salsa. I've done one on my channel a long time ago of the roasted pepper salsa, and this one's kind of close to it, just a little bit different because the tomatoes and stuff I put in them they're a little bit different, but otherwise it's fairly similar to it. And y'all make sure when you checking out when you go and make it because you're going to make it because it's that good <laughs> but uh check in the description box down below and you can see all the ingredients and then what it did to make it but it's a fairly simple one like mine always are <laughs> but it's a good one uh, i had a big can of crushed tomatoes and then i did two smaller cans of uh, diced tomatoes one had chipotle in it and the other had uh uh, diced green chilies in it, so it adds a little, little more spice and a little, little more flavor as well to the tomatoes. And then I had the good old rainbow of the bell peppers, had a green, a red, an orange, and then a yellow, so you got good color, but you <laughs> kind of the color goes away when you're getting it mixed and blended in, but it gives it great flavor, especially roasting it in the oven, because that's what it did. Washed my peppers good, diced them in half, cleaned them out, cleaned the seeds and ribs and stuff out of them because if you leave that in it, things can kind of get bitter on you. So took them out, cleaned them up, put them on a little sheet tray, sprayed them down with a little oil so it can get a good kind of char on them in the oven. And then I had a red onion and also a Vidalia that I chopped in half, took the skin off and roasted them as well because you're going to get a lot more flavor out of your peppers and your onions when you roast them in the oven there so that's what I did with them put them on a sheet tray like I said sprayed them down from the oven on broil and just kind of sat and watched them and moving around on the tray if any of them were getting a little bit more char on them than the other ones and didn't take too too long and then once you get them out of the oven the peppers that is get you a little storage bag, plastic bag, put them in it, zip them up, and let them sit and cool down and kind of sweat in there because when you do, it'll help to take the skin off of those a lot easier. So once I had that, it's just chopping it up and putting it in a big bowl and starting mixing it around. Then I put in my spices and a little lemon juice and then a little white distilled vinegar as well to give it a little kind of tang and then that citrusy taste as well and then my seasonings I had a tagine I think that's how you say it if I'm not I'm sorry please forgive me um, but I'll have it in the descriptions and then you'll see it in the video too <laughs> um, then salt and pepper I just did it to taste and then a little cumin um, what else uh, something I think we'll, we'll see it's in the video so don't worry <laughs> and uh, some minced garlic as well that's what I had in it but pretty simple it's just mainly the prep work of cleaning chopping and then uh, getting it chopped up to put in the bowl to get it mixed up but that's all there is to it easy one good one went well today because hey, we actually ate it today because I was making it for my little niece's uh, birthday party. We always talk around of menu and junk like that of what the little ones want and my sister said that she had wanted taco salad so that's what we went with and she asked me if I could whip up some salsa and I was glad to so it was fun. I enjoyed cooking so it didn't matter whatever to make <laughs> but I got to make the salsa so it was fun and delicious and the kids like it and she said they actually finished off what <laughs> they took today so <laughs> they they chewed it on down but anyways we'll get on to the video of how we made it and what all went into it but y'all please like share and subscribe if you want to and when you do hey you're part of good old head to tail family so anyways let's get on into this video so this is our ingredients we're going to be looking at, uh, except for the minced garlic. <laughs> I 
when I was setting everything up, I forgot to set it out. But that's all. But I've got the crushed tomatoes there, the petite diced tomatoes with green chilies, and then the ones with chipotle peppers as well. And the tagine cumin, my salsa mixer. And then it's going to be salt and pepper to taste once I've got it all mixed up and see how it's tasting. And the red onion, the Vidalia onion, and then the rainbow or colors of my bell peppers there. And then it's going to be some distilled white vinegar and lemon juice. So that's all that's going to be going into it. So I got my big old bowl back there. And now I'm going to start processing on my vegetables and getting them ready. Start on my peppers and onions and start getting them chopped up and cleaned up and get them ready and put them on the sheet tray there and get them cleaned out on the inside so I don't have any the pepper or the seeds and stuff in them because they can kind of get bitter on you and I do work that fast when I'm in the kitchen <laughs> so I got them on my sheet tray there and I'll spritz them a little bit with some oil so it'll help the skin to kind of char up better and I got the oven on broil so I'm just going to stick those in there and watch them so while they're in the oven I'll go ahead and start putting my spices in it's about a half a tablespoon of cumin two tablespoons of the salsa mix tablespoon of the tagine and then that's a tablespoon there the minced onion so I'm going to go ahead and get that in and get that mixed up and remember I always look at my description so you can see what all went in so then I'm going to go ahead and put in my vinegar and lemon juice and it's going to be two tablespoons on lemon juice and then two tablespoons on the vinegar so checking my peppers and onions there they're looking pretty good so I can start getting things ready again they're looking pretty good I put them in I think a little bit longer there and got a little bit more char on them so now I can put them in my bag there so they can kind of sweat and cool on down and that's gonna help the skin just peel on off easier so got them in the bag and they're just in their own little sauna in there so they can get their skin loosened up and while they're getting loosened up I can do my quick little magic chop on my onions here to get them processed up and boop there we go and, and I even put it on a plate that's how good of a magic chop that was <laughs> so now I got my peppers there they're cooled on off and they're ready to be de-skinned and then I can start getting them processed up so getting the skins off here and setting them on my sheet tray so they can be ready to start chopping up and it don't it don't matter um, what size chop you put on them unless you want them find a, finer diced but got the skin off of these here so now I can start chopping them up because I get them kind of chopped up, not too fine. And I didn't leave the peppers out. They got the magic chop as well. So I'm just one, two, and then magic chop. <laughs> got them chopped up. You see, it's kind of a finer dice, but I got them in there kind of fine dice so it's easier with the immersion blender but if you like your sauce a little chunkier you can kind of leave it as is it's just I wanted it blended up just a little bit more so it's not too thick so there we go that's what I'm gonna look why look like consistency wise it's still kind of chunky but not too thick <laughs> so it's kind of a nice in between uh, it's, it stays on your chip really well but it won't break your chip when you're pulling it through just a nice mixture there but that's how I do my salsa there pretty easy one remember just 
check the descriptions there to see how all I did it. But anyways, thank y'all again for watching. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one.